Hello friends, welcome to this session of Java Learning. Today we are going to learn return versus system dot out dot println. Both these statements we can use for displaying data, but let us see the differences. The return statement is used as the last statement in a method, but System dot out dot println can be used anywhere in the method body. The second difference is the return type must be mentioned in the method header or method prototype. For system dot out dot println, the return type would be void. The third difference is the output is displayed in a method call box for return type. For system dot out dot println, the output is displayed in a terminal window. And the last difference is, return statement should be executed only once in a method. But system dot out dot println can be used as many times the programmer wants. So these are the differences we have for return and uh, system dot out dot println. Now let us go to bluej and write a program. Let us take a prog suppose 12. This is the class name I have given and I am going to show you the difference between return statement and system dot out dot println. Now let us write a very simple method, a non-static method and we are going to write what? public and this method is going to return an integer value that is the area of a rectangle. So let me take rect and I am going to pass length and breadth now let me return length into breadth that is the area of a rectangle i have used the return statement and it is returning an integer because length is integer breadth is integer so if you multiply two integers answer integer only will come so the return type here is int i can use many more you know statements out here i can write uh, perimeter also i can do anything but this return statement should be the last statement i'm not using any other statements here only return statement i'm using but you all can use other statements but before return statement you have to do now this statement I'm going to write public void show or let me do square here I need <coughs> the side value Now I am going to calculate area that is side into side and perimeter would be no I am not going to calculate just let me ok fine let us calculate that perimeter is equal to 4 into side. Now let us do what system dot out dot print ln area is equal to I kept it in A ok and the next printing is perimeter is equal to I kept it in P so now I'll show you the differences. I'm not writing a main method. 
Today I'm going to show you that even without a main method how to run a Java program. So you see this method is you know having a return statement and as, as I told you I have already mentioned the return type. It is the last statement in a method body. I don't have any other statements, only one statement, so obviously this is the last statement. It should be the last statement in a method body and it should be used only once. I have used only once. Only one thing I did not tell you that is the output will come in a method called box that we will see later. But here you see in case of system.out.println the return type would be void. Here we are not using any return statement. Right? Now when the output will come, this will show the output on a terminal window. This system.out.println can be used anywhere inside this method body and as many times you want. Okay? Here return statement you can use only once but this statement can be used as many times you want. This should be the last statement, but the system dot out dot print ln can be used here, somewhere out here, or even as the last statement, no problem. Now let us see how to compile and run this program. These are all non-static. I have not used public static. So let us see how to run non-static methods. Compile, no syntax error, close and then you have to create object. Once you create the object, two methods will come. Either you can call rect method or square method. So let us call this, the one that is returning value. Length I am giving 200 and breadth I am giving suppose 100 so you see this is actually the method call box the answer is coming here okay now let us close this and let me show you the output of this method which will appear on the terminal window side it is asking I'm giving 45 so the terminal window is already opened here so area is this and perimeter is this for the square I hope you have understood now if you want to run you know this program through main method then simple you have to add public And then you have to create object for prop 12. So copy it. Then object name is OB. And I uh, have to write new prop 12. This is done. Now I have to call OB dot rect method and that method needs two values you know 34 length 10 breadth now when you call this method this method will give you a result let me store it in a now I'll print system dot out dot area of a rectangle is equal to you have kept the answer in a you called a method that returned a value and the answer is in a which is the area of a rectangle so I'm printing here now let me call a square method so with this object only I'm going to call this method is not returning any value so I don't need a variable to store the result I can directly call 
the square method part have to pass the side this is the actual parameter that have to pass now let me compile uh, con what is it saying some error oh I have forgotten to close the class actually I have added this method and I forgot to close the class right no syntax error now you run the main method the way you do so this was the result of a rectangle method and this is the result of square method hope you have understood the difference between a return and system dot out dot println in java thank you so much for watching this video keep watching and keep learning and of course do subscribe for all my latest videos thank you so much